Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining us. My name is Jonathan James. We're here at the Hollywood Salon Republic, and um, I'm a Wella and Sebastian portfolio brand educator. Today, we're going to be showcasing some dry hair cutting techniques on both shorter hair and longer hair to kind of show you guys how to get good lived in results um, in a very easy, time efficient manner. I'm going to be starting in the back of Marissa's head, where she's already got a little bit of this grown out, undercut A line bob. So, I'm going to start in the nape area towards the left and start by cutting my texture throughout here so I can create a short to long movement that's gonna follow the shape of her, her head really nicely. So the technique I'm utilizing to create the line for Marissa's haircut um, is skimming. So when I'm skimming hair away, I wanna ensure that my blade is flat against the hair, very parallel, and I'm slowly, slowly skimming hair away. So the result should give me um, a soft diffuse line and remove length at the same time. So we're removing weight and length together to save time in the salon. I think it's super important when you're working with a dry hair and using a feather blade to use a fresh blade every time you're starting a haircut and to prep, make sure the hair is prepped with a, a product that's going to help the blade glide nicely through the hair. So now that I've got the underneath of Marissa's line where I want it to be, now we're going to start cutting in her texture because I really want to make sure that I maintain this length around the face. So I just want to tuck this in a little bit and create a lot of movement and softness so she has an ease when she's styling it and just an automatic texture that she doesn't have to work too hard to achieve. So now I'm going to be switching from my blade to my shear to connect these textures and just break a lot of this bulk up. So when I hold this hair out, I can see where my disconnection is from my underneath length to the section that I just brought down. So I'm going to visually connect that using a technique called back cutting. I'm just cutting slowly, gently against the hair so I can get a nice, soft transition from short to long. Um, just to utilize the same technique and um, back cut all of this from short to long so she still has this length with all these texture underneath. With each section, I'm starting to cut with the heel of my blade. So in between here and pushing and closing my shears at the same time. So what that does is create an effect of short to length, short to length, all the way throughout the hair strand and throughout the section. So creating interior texture and slightly layering it. I'm creating a short to long feeling, so I want to over direct everything from here back and kind of slice through it with the shears to connect this graduation in the back to a really seamless texture in the front without removing too much length. So now instead of cutting into the hair, I'm going to be sliding down the hair. So I'm going to start by pinching and sliding down like that. So with that, you have Marissa's final look. These techniques are a great way of implementing texture into a shape and a, a length that you're already happy with, but really putting volume into it, movement, um, wave and shine without taking away the, the length and the overall effect that you want. For so those clients that are growing out their hair or that are um, just really not wanting to sacrifice a lot of length, you can see how much hair came out of Marissa's head um, to make it actually look like she has more on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and um, we'll be on to the next. All right, so now we're gonna move into our next look, which is gonna be a long textured layered haircut. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of clients that come in with long manes of hair 
and they don't want to change anything about the length, but they do want to change something about the layers. So I've gotten stuck in a rut of cutting the long layers the same way. This is just a little bit of a different way of thinking about it. So we can approach it from a more textured angle and to give it a more lived in bohemian feel that doesn't feel so freshly cut. So, okay. so the next technique I'm going to be utilizing is um, it's going to be back cutting as well. You guys remember in my short haircut technique video, we were back cutting from the underneath of the hair. This time I'm going to be starting on top of the hair to layer downward. One thing to keep in mind is beginning with the heel of the, the blade where you want to begin, coming in and completely closing my shears with each movement and then slowly sliding down the hair. So almost creating a scooping effect to um, create seamless layers. So even though it seems like we're starting to create a short layer, those short layers are actually inside the length of the layers. So that gives a lot of movement and texture as opposed to just heaviness and weight of a blunt layer. And I'm actually pulling my guide from my previous section. So once my previous section has been cut, I leave it alone and just pull the shortest layer to dictate where I'm gonna start my next layer. Okay, so now I've let down half of my horseshoe section. I have started about the apex of the head and let down everything back to connect it to the back cutting technique that I've done underneath. And then we'll address the top a little bit differently. Okay, so now I've let down the top and you can see how heavy this hair is versus the hair that we've cut on the sides. This has light airy movement to it and then this hair just falls. So how we're gonna connect it now is it's all gonna be coming down towards her face. I wanna make sure I can kind of see through my section a little bit. I don't want it to be too dense. Hold it out in front. And now I'm finding my guide from the crown. So once I find that shortest piece, start back cutting all of that away. All right, so now we have our final look for our texturized long layers. Again, this is a way of dry cutting, so you can really visually sculpt somebody's hair into the look that you want and know where you need to take out weight and where you don't need to take out weight. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this technique on long hair and short hair is to show you the versatility of the technique so that you can get openness, create open spaces and texture and definition out of hair that's long and commercial or short and edgy. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I thank you guys for joining me. Um, thank you for Salon Republic Hollywood for hosting me. And if you guys have any questions um, following up about the techniques that you've seen here today or you wanna learn more about Sebastian cutting techniques, um, feel free to contact me. My Instagram handle is Neon Gods. Shoot me a DM or uh, find the Wella Education app or the Sebastian Education app.